Howdy, 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 folks. Brainstorm's back with a new snack to attack. Does this look familiar, guys? Huh? Does this look familiar? Yep. We have uh, one of our most popular videos. And I'm sorry, I'm trying a different angle here. <laughs> one of our most popular videos was the Lint 100% dark chocolate unsweetened cocoa short that I did. And stay tuned. I'll leave the link in the bottom of comments well I can't you can't do that anymore can you on youtube oh well i will use it as the end screen in this particular video but we're going to do three today guys i've been anticipating doing several different percentages because people have suggested that i do so and it's an acquired taste apparently i'll admit fair enough it's not for everybody but some people like these barely edible concoctions <laughs> i'll just say that much but i'm back with a new snack to attack guys and first and foremost we did the 100 percent and it tasted like dirt to me i'll be honest how can you eat stuff like that how do you get to have that as acquired taste i guess anything's an acquired taste after a while you know not a lot of people don't like ketchup which i don't i can't fathom and some of it belongs in the garbage that's just my personal opinion i like to share the positive i like to be positive but I have to call it what did I see it and definitely see it. That's what it needs. But I am open minded. I am willing to try the new, and I challenge you to try the new each and every day. All right. So today, first of all, we're starting 90% cocoa. Lint Excellence 90% cocoa dark chocolate. Deliciously intense, surprisingly balanced. It claims the 90% has to be better than the 100%, maybe. That's the theory, anyway. That's what people tell me to try different ones to find your comfort level. I'm not so sure. You know, when something's chocolate, you think of intrinsically that it's going to be sweet or good for you because that's, I guess, as Americans, as big fluffy guys, that's what we're used to. But, you know, you can dress it up, you put lipstick on it, you can call it chocolate. You could call it dark chocolate. You can give it a fancy name and a fancy package, but that don't make it good. So let's try this 90% with an open mind. See that first type or first bite? It's not that offensive. And it tastes less like dirt, more like mud. I'd rather eat mud, I think, than, than dirt as the 100%. But I would melt this maybe in some coffee if I was drinking coffee, but I'm not a big coffee drinker. I can see this used in something else as a balance. Is it better than 100%? Certainly. Would I enjoy eating it? Probably not. So, let's move on from the 90%. Yeah. Not quite all the way thumbs down. 85%. I should probably have a palate cleanser. Some water or something. At the very least. But. Better plans of mice and men. So now we're trying the 85% Lint Excellence. Let's see if it's any good. Oh. Eh, that wasn't too bad, that one I just tried, the 90%, as far as aftertaste. All right, this is just 5% more. I can't imagine it being any better. 85%. Again, the first bite, not that offensive. Not off-putting in, in the least. Ooh, this is good shoe. Ah. I see why, like I said in one video, why people eat these in moderation. Because it's not something you want to just eat the whole bar in one sitting. Not me, anyway. So, eh, this one's a little better, so I'm not going to throw it in the garbage. 85% chocolate, eh, I was a little bit, almost a thumbs up. Alright. You don't do bad product, Lent. I'll give you that. But, it's not my favorite. So now we're going to 15% more, 
less, more, whatever. And I think as the percentages go down, the more sweet they're supposed to be. Or the less bitter. Whatever the, the, the sliding scale is there. I got like 30,000 comments, maybe more. 70% lint, excellence, dark chocolate. Let's try it out. On that 100% video, people comment and tell me that they love it or they hate it or they agree. And I love that kind of thing. I love the comments and people, whether positive or negative. All right. So comment on this video, guys. Tell me what I'm doing wrong here and how I should eat this and try this differently. Oh, again, first bites. You got to give it a minute because the first bite throws you. This one, you can make a s'mores out of. So, I think I found my sweet spot with the 70%. Because it's not overly sweet, which I'm not a big sweet, 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 sweet guy. But I do like my sugar. And I'm not the hugest fan of dark chocolate, but I'm getting there because my wife is. And I certainly want to expand my horizons, try new things, and I challenge you. To try something new each and every day and the hundred percent no go for this guy the 90 percent mm, still not that inducive to buy and eat regularly 85 percent not much better but the 70 percent that 30 <laughs> percent makes a difference so definitely would i would definitely recommend you try this if you're interested in trying some of these chocolates and we're going to try different percentages in the future too hmm Enjoy that one. That's the keeper. I might have to keep that one to myself. Y'all yeah. have a great day. Stay, stay frosty, folks. Get out there and adventure life. Challenge new each and every day. Because you never know until you know. I didn't know which one of these I would like. I thought I might not like all, any of them. And I'm pleasantly surprised, and I hope you are too. 70% chocolate is where it's at, guys. Yeah, my goodness. What should I try next? You want to check out that Lent video? Hilarious Lent video. And see all the comments. Those are hilarious too. Endless amount down here, guys. Y'all have a great day. Check out that. Check out that video, guys. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. The spice of life. Isn't it right? Just as nice. Amen. See you later.